Hi folks, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics and today I am bringing you the instantly recognisable Traveller version of the beloved Morris Minor, a real British Institute of a uh, utility car. Now this particular car is about as late as Morris Miners get. It was actually registered in August 1971 um, it's covered remarkably just 57,000 miles since then and there is over there a rather large uh, history folder which um, back up that mileage with past MOTs and some invoices some recent some fairly ancient but um, it does come with a rather lovely history file now this is called Bermuda blue uh, and obviously this lovely light blue um, is very recognisable because it's rather similar to the old Panda cars from years ago. The police used to use a, a similar car back in the day. Um, a particularly handsome shooting brake estate of its time, or the Tudor estate car as sometimes people refer to them. Um, they are very um, special and well loved and to find one in lovely condition like this is very special now the, I do have some nice information about this particular car um, and as I've mentioned to you it does come with a quite a nice history folder which helps say collaborate the remarkably low mileage of just 57,000 miles that does explain why it's so original um, very good paint um, paintwork all round there is an invoice in the car for it having been fully resprayed. An invoice for woodwork. Now it's quite important this woodwork is in good order because it actually does form the structural part of the rear uh, body of this car. So it's rather important it's in good condition and it has been a credit to its previous owner who has kept this car garaged and finally fettled the important thing as well there's very good panel gaps here which isn't always the way with cars especially cars that undoubtedly would have had some restoration work through the years i'm just showing you these gaps as we go just so you can see what i'm seeing um i think the invoice was uh showing that two lots of resprays actually i think it's all here in the history file and uh it does have its original um 1098 engine a four speed manual box and totally original it, it hasn't been upgraded there isn't a five speed gearbox there isn't um, disc brakes or servos and improved suspension etc etc uh, it is nice to have them standard and this one certainly is um, it's important to get a feel for the condition of the car so if I were to zoom in and just show you pretty much area by area um, a very uh, good roof excellent woodwork as we can see that looks beautiful uh, this rear panel is excellent. The wheels painted the correct ivory colour with the chrome wheel trim. Large sliding rear windows here. And this rear panel, excellent, as are the doors. And if you can see, I get down there, all very solid, as is the front wing. I'll open the bonnet for you in a while. You can see a nice clean engine bay as well. The ivory to match the wheels as the front grille. Very nice... Uh, chrome front bumper surround and overriders as are the correct uh, wing mounted mirrors and panels here very small chip there which you can probably see as I zoom in um, but I am looking to report any issues of any paintwork I'm certainly not seeing very many and if I do see any I promise I'll point them out to you rather handsome pinstripe through the front here which always looks great on these cars and lovely glossy Bermuda blue paintwork, very good for these um, guys.
gutters as well, which is very important. And this rear panel and the rear wing. Good tyres all round and lovely rear doors and chrome work. A nice period uh, black and silver number plate and those wonderful pair of sort of opening barn doors. I have taken a few photos of the interior which will be with the advert but we'll have a look at the interior together. So hopefully following my video you can see that this Bermuda blue Morris Minor does present extremely well with excellent paintwork, excellent chrome, no dents, no scratches, no rust, rock solid underneath and totally under sealed and that's why this car is still present here today. A nice little touch is a period correct AA badge which looks quite nice in the middle of the grill there like they often had. So Morris Miners were built uh, in three phases and they run from 1948 to 1972. This one being August 71 and you can see how close to the end of the production that this particular one was. The very early cars, we refer to those as the MMs and they had uh, low lights and a split front screen and side valve engines. Then we had a Series 2 which run from 52 to 56 and then the A Series engine came out in around 52 and that's where the Traveller was introduced with that beautiful ash structural body being, fun, uh, being fitted to the front of what was a saloon. Now that work was done at the MG part in Abingdon because the Cowley plant could no longer cater for these uh, body on frame be built vehicles so they were built in the MG factory in Abingdon. In 1956, the Morris Mine 1000 was introduced and then the two-piece front screen was now replaced by a single one-piece windscreen. Uh, an increase of the original engine capacity of 948 uh, was increased and right through to 1962, even though the Morris Mine 1000 would retained its name the biggest change was probably the much improved 1098 a series engine better gearbox with more synchro mesh better braking and improved interior styling now by 1969 the sales were declining and the production of the tourer and the convertible model ended and the saloon was discontinued in 1970 um, and by the end of 1972, over 1 1.3 million Morris Miners were sold. But of course, that did include all model types. There was a van, there was a pickup, the Traveller, the Saloon, the Tourer. And it was certainly a car that was always recognisable on, on Britain's roads. And it was oversaw by the designer of the Mini. Instant hit, very recognisable with those curves. And to this day, it's well loved and it does rather well in overseas markets as well. I know a fair few Morris Miners that Bradley James have sold over the years have ended up um, going to mainland Europe. Now, even though I'm afraid the uh, VAT is now payable to send cars um, to Europe and vice versa, we can still assist with helping you with your shipping service should you wish to have this car sent overseas please contact us for details now this particular car with this low mileage with this lovely bodywork um, presents wonderfully well drives extremely well um, i'm going to show you inside two sets of keys that's that original very very dark blue almost blue black uh, door panels 
and seating all in very nice order. There's your rear seat there. It has had um, inertia reel seat belts fitted, so that's a little bit more luxurious than the original uh, static belts. Uh, and very good headlining, all nice and original. And very original uh, through the dashboard here. Um, the carpet, which is dark blue, is in excellent condition. Um, this particular car does have a steering lock, which um, is quite a nice, handy addition for security. Because generally you have a key in the middle and no steering lock. Here we have a steering lock and that allows you to be able to um, lock up your Morris Minor with just the next degree of security. Um, let's have a little look in the back together. Looks like this car's been to Goodwood. And let's just open these rear doors. And as you can see, these rear doors are in excellent condition. We have a nice panel here and great woodwork holding in this glass. You have the ability to fold down the rear seat so you can get a much larger load. And for those who know the Morris Miners, tucked under this little shelf and someone's put a neat little cover here i just lift up this cover i'll stand back so you can see what i mean and here we have the spare wheel there's the jack and i can see where the car's been wax oiled there's a nice overspray of wax oil here and there which is absolutely a great thing for longevity of a car and there's this little panel which is actually added just to cover up the spare wheel now i'm going to have to use my other other hand to put that in but for now you get the gist and just so you can see look how nice and original all of this is 57,000 miles just as it was when new and this is how these doors shut and then the handle over and there is actually a, a lock here so a slow walk around the car once more um, an inspection is, is, is invited and welcome, but I can assure you the car has been through our workshop and we've checked it over today. Uh, compression of the engine is very good, it starts very well, it sounds great, and it's an absolute on the button car. So let's pop inside and turn that key. Uh, now, let's give it a go. That's the classic sound of a Morris Minor. Let's turn that off. And one last little thing, if I feel underneath the driver's side of the dashboard, I get the um, ability to lift up the bonnet via a pulley. And here we are, that's that 1096 Morris engine, the correct color of green. No oil oozing out of anywhere. All very honest and clean here the correct air filter there's the su pump in the background battery tucked away fitted with the correct dynamo so no alternator conversion and there we have the control box just two fuses just in this little box here very simple you will not find the ability to plug in your ecu and this is all very clean and honest in the engine bay this has not been highly detailed for car showing. That could be done if so required. This is not a concourse, fully restored car just out of the workshop. This is a every, everyday working classic in excellent condition. And by the way, when I did look around the car, I think I could only really just find this little honest stone chip on the bonnet. Other than that, the paintwork is in stunningly good order. 57,000 miles. Morris Minor 1000, a 1098 8 series engine, 1971 four speed manual gearbox, synchro mesh gearbox, um, excellent condition uh, timbers throughout, which look really good, rock solid underneath, starts on the button and drives especially well. Well, folks, if this is the Morris Minor for you, please get in touch. This one is 
uh, very sensibly priced. I've certainly seen Morris miners that have not been in this condition for a chunk more money. This one is very nice and I think you'll find at the price point for the condition and how well it drives and how well it presents this ought to prove a good investment for the future and this one is in stock with us now we're based in North Hampshire we have our own workshop we have the ability to make sure these cars are very well presented and checked over prior to you taking them away we can organize full UK delivery at competitive price we can look at part exchange in your existing classic car and you are welcome to come and have a look at this lovely piece of British motoring history here in our North Hampshire base we can arrange delivery we need your postcode for a quote and we can bring this car to you and this may well be the solid example of a Morris Minor in excellent condition that you've been looking for. A great history file. Back up the mileage of that the remarkable 57,000 miles only. This car has got had a lot of life in Elliot. Well, thank you folks for listening to this 16 minute video. I appreciate you watching it. And we very much hope you've enjoyed looking at this Morris Minor Traveller today. It's Danny at Bradley James Classics. Signing out.